Good morning, everybody. In the last episode, we tried out Croesus for the first time and got two Reapers out of the way. And today, I have another Croesus Reaper from yesterday, actually, because yesterday I had food poisoning and I didn't really play or do anything at all. And apparently, Croesus has a crush weakness. Interesting. But anyways, we're going to start off this episode by doing two more Croesus Reapers. We're also almost up to 52, like, literally, like, three more lobsters. We'll be at 52 fishing, by the way. And I want to say thanks real quick to all the support on the last few videos. Uh, everybody has been leaving really great comments, really helpful comments and whatnot. Um, and also just, we're just gaining a lot of subs. So welcome to the channel. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy the series and, and like to follow along. Uh, so in this episode, I'm going to do those two crows Reapers real quick. I'm not going to uh, drag it out since I've already kind of talked about it like in the last episode. I'm just going to bang those out quick. Uh, well, as quick as I can anyways. It takes a little while. Uh, and then I'm going to go try to do ED3 trash runs. That's what I'm going to try to find a team anyways um, to do that because I'd really like to... I mean, I discussed it long-windedly in the last episode, but I'd really like to get my combats up, uh, get some Dungeoneering XP and tokens, as well as some cash so I can start doing things like shop runs and um, and uh, what, what's a traveling merchant, right? That'd be really nice. And there's 52 fishing, so once we get 52 cooking, we'll be able to go uh, do those Desert Souls as well. Alright, there's another 20k Slayer XP and one Reaper out of the way. But I'm going to stop doing this for now because there's a lot of people just kind of like messing up these kills. And uh, kind of like I was in the last episode. Uh, but it's just not a good time. So I'll probably get another Reaper and then uh, just do them both tomorrow. Because right now the public instance is just total aids so uh just not it's not worth it we failed a lot of kills because people pray really early or they're just not doing statues and stuff so um oh yeah but let's take a look at the all right let's take a look at this chest this was uh 14 14 kills i believe that's quite a bit of nice stuff i don't have to worry about magic logs for desert treasure that's for sure uh diamonds would be nice for crafting again these herb lore secondaries are really really nice and the herbs um and otherwise, I'm not sure what these do. Uh, if you guys want to let me know in the comments. Soul runes, I've heard of really, really important. Like, I think in the main game, they're really expensive. 3.5k? Wait, is that the stack or is that for one? Oh my god, I just looked it up on the wiki. These are actually 3.5k each. That isn't the value for the stack. These are three. Soul runes are 3.5k each in uh, RS3. That's insane. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take this stuff. And uh, I'm going to go try to find a team to do some ED3 trash runs. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but uh, I mean, probably better than whatever the hell this clusterfuck is. So uh, let's go do that. All right. So we finally found ourselves an ED3 run team. Got this guy with a dragon halberd and another guy with a with a G staff. So it seems to be going all right, but uh, I forgot to turn my chest on to pick up the drops. So that's unfortunate. I'll have to make sure to do that next time. All right, I got kicked out of my group for uh, having uh, tier 50, tier 50 weapons instead of uh, tier 60. Apparently, that's the uh, the threshold that that makes you uh, that allows you to do a lot more damage. But uh, there's this guy he did this video uh, about soloing them at a low level. I'm gonna try out this method that he's doing because uh, why not? Because this seems like a f fun thing to try out. All right, so I've made it this far slowly but surely, and. Uh, I've gotten up to 57 magic, which isn't bad, but apparently I can safe spot this guy somehow. So I'm going to try doing that. Um, it's, I don't have any prayer left, I don't think, actually. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Apparently, over here, I got to like, run all the way back here or something. Um, and then I think I should be able to go back here. Nope. Okay, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Try this again. All right, I've tried this a few times now, haven't been able to get it to work. But apparently, you're supposed to come over here, shoot him once, come back over here, and then run back, and it's supposed to be safe swatted or something. I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out with that. But just to go here, one ability, and... I, don't, I think maybe I'm not moving fast enough because he's shooting me twice. In the video I saw, the guy only gets shot once. Let's see if this guy... Nope, definitely still attacking me. 
Also, I understand this isn't a good use of my time, probably, but I just want to see if I can get it to work. Um, I'm also using this bow because it has a range of seven, and apparently that's important. So I'm going to try to run back faster this time. Ooh, maybe I, maybe I got it that time. He only shot me once. Well, let's try to come back now, see if he still attacks me. No, he definitely still attacks me. Okay. I don't know. You guys can leave me a comment if you know how to do that. But otherwise, uh, I'm just going to try to do another run to get up to 60 and go get a G-Staff. Um, and with the G-Staff, I could probably find some groups, which is going to be quite a bit more efficient. And that right there would be 60 magic. So what I've been doing is I just come in here and I go like as far as I can. And then I would teleport out to the Kandor Monastery. Since I, I don't have the crystal unlocked in, in Wars Retreat yet. So I just come over here. And then I teleport to Wars Retreat. Get some more food and then go back into it. However, uh, I don't think that was really super efficient for me to do it that way. It took, it took probably three runs to Honto to get me from, I think it was 52 to 60. Uh, I guess that's not terrible, but... Um, I'm gonna go get a Guthic staff now, um, and I believe the cape is actually better than this as well. Um, and I'm also gonna see if I can find some Mystic robes, maybe. Oh no, I need 50 defense for that. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go see if we can get a Guthic staff, and if we do that, we should be able to get some groups in. And I think that doing with the groups is gonna be a lot more efficient because just just getting more loot in general, you know. All right, let's go get our Guthic staff. So this is actually pretty big for us because. One, it's the best magic weapon that we can use at the moment. Um, but two, I believe this cape is better too, right? Yeah, oh, quite a bit better. Yeah, quite a bit better as far as damage bonus. Um, but the, the big thing here is that uh, this is going to be useful for us forever. Um, because this is eventually going to go into the essence of finality, the amulet. Um, and it's gonna, for the special attack, because the special attack reduces uh, affinity, which has something to do with hit chance and defense. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's uh, a little bit more complicated here in RS3, the, how the the uh, hit calculations work. Uh, but I believe to use the special attack, so, like, I believe this spell is, oh, I don't need blood runes for this. I brought blood runes out of habit, because uh, that's what you do when you're going to do mage training arena. Um, but I think I can bank those. I don't think I need them. Uh, anyways. Anyways, so like in old school, you do 100 casts, I think, or 200 casts in the mage training arena. Um, and actually, I'm going to turn off revolution because I believe it's just auto attacks that count. How do I do this? So yeah, what I was saying is that in old school, you need 100 casts to be able to use the spell outside of... Uh, outside of the arena but uh the spell is kind of useless in rs3 i believe um but you need 100 cast to be able to use the special attack of the weapon um which is important for us so i, I don't think it's that important for us right now i'm not sure how good it is to use uh, but i think i'm just gonna sit here and auto attack this guy because i'm pretty sure that's what counts anyways there we go we got 100 casts in so now we unlock the spell as well as the special attack which is what we're after all right i found a group one guy just left but i'm with this other guy and uh things are going pretty smoothly actually a lot more smoothly than it was before um i looked 62 ma i got two magic levels just off that one run um and yeah since the beginning of this including the solos i went from 13 to 22 dungeoneering which uh is not a lot of xp but um again the early level dungeon is really really slow so that's really nice to get out of the way um we go let me ready up up to almost 50 hp now so yeah we're making some real progress i should probably get up to like 50 60 defense too so that i can wear uh like mystic and maybe lunar armor uh well maybe maybe uh, lunar diplomacy should be on my list then too so we're just on our last run here uh because because my dude's got to go and uh like i finally actually did the uh the hanto glitch safe spot thing <laughs> we were just like he asked if I knew how to do it and I was like ah, I can try it didn't work before but uh, now it works so 
after this, this should be the second mini boss we did. So um, I should have like 10k dungeoneering tokens, which is not bad. I'd really like to get a bone crusher sooner than later. That would be really nice to have. I think that kind of uh, passive prayer XP would start to really add up. Uh, but yeah, our stats have, are looking really good. I mean, we can just take our time with this thing. Um, let Revo do its job. So we're up to 68 magic. Actually, I don't know how much XP I'm going to get from this thing. Probably quite a bit. Um, but we're up to 31 Dungeoneering. Um, we're up to 31 Dungeoneering, which is huge from 13. Like, I, it's not crazy or anything, but like if I ever want to go back to doing real dunge, that's uh, like a nice head start, you know? And uh, we might get like 70 magic from this, which is not bad. I'd like to get 75 so I can use my other weapon. That would be a huge DPS increase, obviously. Um, but uh, my friend said that he's going to take me to do some tomorrow. I think he's got a little bit higher level Iron Man. So uh, after we're done with this, I think I'm going to go back to doing some, some quests. Not sure what I'm going to do um, right this second. But uh, that's what we're going to do to finish off this episode, I think. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll come back and do some more. Um, I think my friend's a pretty decent level Iron Man, so maybe he can kind of carry me through doing some melee and some ranged as well to get those up. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so that got us 32 Dungeoneering. It was 22k XP in total. A lot of XP there. This is actually, like, I hasn't really registered with me yet, but this is, like, an insane amount of XP that I've gotten. Like, I went from, like, 50 to 68 magic in not very much time. Actually, let me finish this run. Maybe I'll get 69. All right, we're officially out. Uh, I almost died there at the end. But yeah, I was saying 32 Dungeoneering is really, really huge. So, um, And uh, obviously, we want to get 75 magic, but that'll come. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but yeah, this is super fast XP, actually. I didn't even like didn't really even register. I've done this for a couple hours now, and I went from 50 to 68 magic. That would be like probably like a day of magic training in old school, you know? Um, like if you were doing, let's see, what would I do in mid-level magic for old in old school? Like uh, on an Iron Man, maybe made magic training arena, something like that, if I wanted to get like Master Wand and Bones of Peaches and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, moving on. I'm gonna look up some quests that we can do um, to finish off this episode and we'll go from there. All right, so it's getting pretty late and uh, I think what I'd like to do to finish off this episode, I mentioned it early in the video, but I think Lunar Diplomacy would be a good quest for us to go for. Um, it gives us some really early level magic power armor as well as, I'm not sure how useful the Lunar Spellbook is in RS3. Um, I'm sure it has some niche uses, uh, but I think it'd just be a good quest to get out of the way. It's required for certain things too, I believe. Okay, no, I'm wrong. It was basically only required for other Fremenic quests. Um, nothing big, but I think it's it's a good thing to get out of the way. Um, it's required for a bunch of achievement diaries, though. Uh, and yeah, so as I mentioned in the earlier video, um, Fremenic Trials was one thing that I was going for. So that's what I'm going to do this video, and then maybe do a little bit skilling, working on the other requirements. If you guys have any tips for me to get up crafting to 61 at a mid-level, uh, let me know, because I don't really know what meta would be for that. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to go do, as I mentioned in the other video, Temple of Ikov to um, to get our fletching up. And uh, and then when we finish that, we're going to go do, we should have all the levels for Fremenic Trials. Rather, we are a little bit of woodcutting XP short, but we can go bang that out whenever. Dude has one HP, apparently. And that is the Temple of Ikov, which gives a bunch of fletching and ranged XP, almost up to 42, and... 28, which is plenty enough for um, from the trial. So let's go uh, do some woodcutting, get up to 40 woodcutting, and we can go do that. And that would be 40 woodcutting. Let's go do from the trials, as well as bonus clip. We got some uh, dungeoneering level, smithing level, and uh, that's it, I think. And uh, we also get these extra battle pass rewards. Soul Reaper refresh. That's a little bit overwhelming for me at this point, I think. But then, oh, the monthly D&D token. I believe I asked, I don't think anybody answered me on that last time, but uh, what should I use this on? What is the best monthly D&D to be using that on? Give me give me a holler in the comments. Shit, I need a raw shark. So uh, detour time. Uh, according to the wiki, I can get one from Temple Trekking. So um, I guess we're going to go do those quests real quick. 
and that would be in search of the Myrarchy. And that would be in aid of the Myrarchy, which, uh, psh, honestly, I'm tired. I'm going to wait, and I think I'm going to do the Fremenic Trials tomorrow, as well as the Temple Trekking. I can't forget about that. I need to do the Temple Trekking to get the Shark. That's, that's what I did this for, so I can't forget that in the morning. Well, I didn't forget my Shark this morning, but if you want to talk about some uh, outdated quests, uh, I just beat... Koshai the Deathless's fourth form with uh, level 40 stats and just one ring of recoil. That's a... Uh, <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. And that should be the... F yep, the Fremenic Trials. Get a little bit of XP in, like, every skill. They rounded it off to 2,800. I always thought it was a weird number, like, like 2612 or something like that. Did they change that recently? Okay, apparently it says 2800, but if I do this, yeah, it's 2812. Okay, that's weird. But yeah, we get a bunch of XP here. Let's see. Should get some levels. A defense level, an attack level, agility, thieving, crafting, and two fletching levels. Not bad. But uh, anyways, I think that's how where I'm going to finish off this episode. Um, this later today, I think I'm going to uh, do some more ED through trash runs, but uh, and just kind of keep working on upping those combats. But uh, let me know what I should work on next. There's a lot of AFK things that I want to work on, like I'm almost up to 52 cooking, so I can start building up some decent food from Menaphos, um, as well as AFKing some more archaeology, just because archaeology is great to get up, as well as dailies and the usual stuff. Like, there's lots of stuff that I'll be working on, but as far as the next active steps that I should take, uh, wh what do you think I should do? Leave me a comment. So, thanks for watching, and thanks for following along the series. I just woke up this morning to 268 subscribers. We're actually growing really consistently, and that's really nice. Thank you for everyone who's following around, uh, everybody who's following along. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and have a good one.